Hello everybody! Kamusta kayong lahat? We are live now here in a cafe in Bacolod. I'm not sure if my signal is doing well. So for those who are watching, hello to everyone. So this is the first episode of our series on how to stay low carb. I think we mentioned yesterday kung sino man yung merong mga questions in having a hard time uh, how to stay low carb. So we have different different scenarios. Merong yung iba outside, yung iba while in their homes. And right now, I'm currently outside since I just came in from a meeting. And ngayon, I will show you how to stay low carb while you are on a high carb or regular restaurant. So, as a start, of course, meron yung water. But since hindi naman tayo kumakain sa labas just to take water, we can now go through isa-isa. So, I am here in Felicia's in Bacolod. For those of you who have been in Bacolod, so Felicia's actually is one of those very parang known to be a dessert place when it comes to, to our city. Bacolod is known to be the city of smile and Negros Occidental in general is like the sugar bowl of the Philippines because nandito po sa amin yung pinakamalaking sugar milling company. It's the Sugar Central company. Actually, I grew up looking at the Sugar Central my whole life. So, my lolo, lola, most of my family on the side of my dad, nagtatrabaho in a sugar milling company. So, impossible yung bahay na walang asukal. And we pride ourselves with having the whitest, parang purest form of sugar. And now we know na that also is the reason why we have a long history and a very strong family history of diabetes. So, you know that my father only at the age of 56 already succumbed to death because of diabetes complications. He was already on insulin resistant for about 5 years before he died. And that's why when I discovered this, around a year, a year after he passed, parang sobrang nakakalungkot when we know we could have done something about it. And so, moving on to our topic for today, how to stay low carb in a regular high carb restaurant. So, we're here in Felicia's. So, right now, wala pa tayong options dito ng mga sugar-free, sugar-free desserts or low carb desserts specifically. And from what I learned, no, meron na ngayon in most cafes, plant-based, meron ng vegan, meron ng gluten-free. But those specifically who are really looking into like low carb options, wala pa talagang ganon. And so, excuse muna yung mga dessert. So, even if we are in a cafe that serves or is known to have a lot of desserts, hindi tayo kailangan maging OA at uh, take advantage talaga that just because there are so many desserts here, it take advantage yun na. So, one of my go-to when we go to cafes or restaurants is to really have something to drink. Inom muna ako ng water, okay? Okay, so I hope okay lang yung signal natin. And yes, I hope, hello, Chana Mina, I hope you can visit Bacolod soon. So yung pinaka-go-to ko talaga is coffee. But as much as I love coffee, hindi ko rin gusto yung sobrang tapang na coffee. So like this one, this is already pure coffee. So what I usually order, basta at magko-coffee ako, is to get a cup of coffee. And then, at the same time, I will ask for a glass of ice. At dyan ko ilalagay yung coffee. I hope hindi siya ma, ano, no? matatapon. <laughs> Oy, natatapon talaga. So, we will put it slowly. Okay? So, nilalagay ko lang because I don't, I love coffee. Pero, I'm not very tolerant with caffeine. So, I usually, when I drink coffee, dinidilute ko lang. And hindi naman ako mahilig talaga sa mga maiinit. Like, mga sobrang hot or ano. Medyo, since my, I started low-carb nutrition at bumilis yung metabolism ko, hindi na ako maginawin. Hindi na ako ganun ka maginawin. So, I was even more tolerant to something cold. Okay? So, hindi na ako naghahanap ng kailangan ng papainit para mainitan yung chan. No. Even if it's raining right now outside, I don't have problem taking in something cold. So, usually, if I take coffee, it would look something like this. So, para na siyang iced tea, no? Malasaw lang siya. It's very, very clear. So, if this is just plain Americano or plain brewed coffee, kung ano nandiyan. So, the fact that you can order something like this, 
Eh, hindi ka na talaga kailangan ma-pressure na wala kang parang iniinom na something like a real drink. Kasi I understand na meron talaga tayong minsan tendency na kung we are eating outside, it's also different na meron ka talagang something to drink in your hand, not just water. And for me, when I drink this, wala na siyang pait. Hindi na talaga siya mapait. So, it's very, very pleasurable. Nararamdaman mo pa rin yung coffee flavor, the caffeine, the pleasure of coffee, but wala nang bitterness. Hmm? So, nagiging matamis siya. It might sound impossible for those who haven't tried it yet, but for those who have tried it, you will be really understand, di ba, na kapag yung coffee is diluted na ng ganito, and it's already very, very refreshing, and you can already say more, at lumalabas yung tamis. And so, in here, of course, they give mascovado. So, mascovado, even if it's raw sugar, we still don't agree on using it kasi it is still sucrose fructose and glucose pa rin ito na magkasama but with a little dirt oh bigyan natin wag nang dirt a little fiber okay so that is somewhat of lesser evil as compared for example a plain white sugar but mascovado it's still kung mas kumonte yung 5 grams nito as compared like a 5 grams of this as compared to a 5 grams of this maybe this one is just about 4 grams because of fiber but it doesn't mean it is really a good option Yes, it is a lesser evil option than this one, but it doesn't mean it is it one it can like save you from your diabetes, it can really lower your your blood sugar. No, of course not. And what else do they have here? Equal. So maraming available na mga artificial sweeteners and as you know lahat ng artificial sweeteners kahit sinasabi pa natin zero calorie siya we don't promote it it is because they are in our caution list uh, maraming klaseng sweeteners merong mga aspartame merong sucralose the more natural ones would be stevia and monk fruit and then allulose and erythritol is mostly processed na sila but sila yung parang pinakamababa yung impact when it comes to insulin and blood sugar but this one it's acesulfame potassium and maltodextrin and aspartame of all the sweeteners na very common this one is not really ideal okay so that's why hindi ko rin to gagamitin so i'm just showing you here what they usually have in handy kasi alam natin wala pa ngayon although we are looking into uh, partnering actually with the food industry who are open to low carb so that it will help with our advocacy in a way that it will become a norm na magiging normal na talaga for people to have options whenever they go to places and we have to really always look for it the moment na the industry can feel that there's already demand for low carb they will adjust okay so we know how the industry have been like uh, brainwashing everybody to eat high carb to eat all of that but it can go both so i hope you are still there so it can go both ways in such a way na kapag tayo mismo ang nag-demand ng, ng low-carb option, eventually, the industry will adapt. So, right now nga, nagsimula na, big, big companies, big, big food industries are now providing low-carb options. Meron na tayo nakita in groceries that they, they show uh, presence of keto, low-carb. So, at least meron na talaga. And, of course, this one, coffee made, we thought it's, it's made of uh, milk, but of course not. This is usually related to non non milk dairy. That's why okay to sa mga vegan and vegetarian. And what we see now is just made up of sugar and milk flavored sugar to give it a creamer consistency na parang milk. So all of this, thank you na lang. Thanks, but no thanks. Okay, so pahinga na natin yan. And so we can move to our menu. So, yung menu dito, number one, is hot choco. Okay, merong hot choco, and then merong, merong enzyme dali. So, it's mostly high carb, so makikita natin. And I will show you how you can maximize eating low carb while in a restaurant. So, for example, a simple bre breakfast and brunch menu. So, nakikita nyo yung breakfast and brunch menu. So, it's all rice milk. So, to make it simple, actually, you can just order any of this. Sabihin nyo lang, hindi nyo kukunin yung rice. Okay? So, nandyan yung order ko. Yes? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So, sa breakfast meal, 
na lang. You can have chorizo, chicken ricado, you have tapa, and then Spanish bagot. So, lahat na yan, you can order. Of course, we know that the processed meat and frozen foods are the ones na nasa portion list natin. But since we are eating outside, and sometimes hindi ka nalang avoid that we eat outside, so we can accommodate this. Mabuti na lang na yan as compared to like eating talaga high carb, like bread and all that. With the appetizer, so maraming appetizer, so anong lang dyan? What we can have is gambas, okay? We have tapa, that's beef. That we also have garlic mushroom. You just remove the ones na carbohydrates. Na so when it comes to mindset, okay, number one is to have the right mindset. Number two is to really have the right knowledge. That's why we invite you to be part of our group na Life Without Rice. You read the announcement there. You read the guide there. Kasi nandun lahat kung ano yung high carb, kung ano yung low carb, ano ibig sabihin ng low carb, and ano yung pinakadapat iwasan. So in places like this, yung pinakaiwasan dito is the bread. Okay? So, ano yung kanina? It's the rice. Okay? Yun man yung mga kailangan yung iwasan. The mashed potato and what else? The pasta, the noodles. Yun yung mga kailangan natin iwasan. So, at the pasta, if you gusto-gusto mo talaga yung sauce ng pasta, you can order them. Pero, hindi mo kainin yung bread. Ah, uh, yung pasta. I mean, you can just eat the shrimp because it's protein. The tahong, uh, because it's mostly fats and proteins. Although it has some glucose in it, glycogen in it, but generally yun yun. But the other ones, like the soup, try to avoid the soup, especially the creamy soup. Kasi minsan hindi mo masasabi if it has cornstarch and other flours na alam natin very high carb. So this is actually what I ordered now. It's filet mignon. So it's just beef. It's a steak na covered with bacon. And then instead of mashed potato, or rice, I requested for vegetables, and I just asked for an extra egg on the side, okay? So that's egg on the side, two eggs, two scrambled eggs, and then instead of rice or mashed potato, I requested for vegetables. But those are caution list vegetables. The beans and the carrots are somewhat starchy. So most likely, hindi ko naman uubusin yan. And this is what I ordered. So it's this is a rare filet mignon with bacon, wrapped in bacon. So, and the sauce, of course, hindi ko nakakainin yan. I learned now, before, very dependent din ako sa mga sauces, but now I learned to appreciate the real flavor of the food, yung totoong lasa talaga ng meat, on its own. And of course, steak, beef, pork, meat, it's always a good option. Huwag lang itong paresa ng carb, okay? Sa mga, mga masabaw naman, just try to minimize intake of your mga sabaw. So, salpicaw, salmon, back ribs. Uh, try to you try to order yung mga hindi masyadong maraming sauces, hindi masyadong maraming marination, hindi na binarinate ng mabuti, walang masyadong asukal. So, alam naman natin yun kung ano yung mga usual na matamis. The ones flavored in barbecue, the ones flavored, the ones na mayroong mga breading. So, automatic. Flour na yung ginagamit ba at asukal. Pizza, okay, what to do with pizza? Usually, kapag if I'm in a group na meron nag-order ng pizza, kumakain pa rin ako ng pizza. But even before low-carb nutrition, hindi na talaga ako mahilig sa bread ng, ng pizza. I always consider that as just a vessel. Parang kutsara lang siya. Because when you eat pizza, kinakamay mo na, di ba? So actually, yung bread, parang sisidlan na yan. So what I usually do, I scrape off. Kinatanggal ko yung top, top most, which would include the cheese, the meat, the vegetables, the the sauce, and yung base niya na, ano, na mozzarella or whatever melted vegetables. At yun ang pinakain ko. And I would usually be leaving slices of pizza bread na wala nang laman. So that's what you can do with pizza. And with the drinks, so we already have Americano. Go so for the coffee if you want. If gusto mo talagang merong creamer, you can opt for a full cream milk. Now, one, ano lang, one serving lang. So, usually their serving is just very little lang din. So, that would be like 50 ml. So, yung 50 ml, that's only about four, about four grams of net carbs. So, you can accommodate that naman. And if they have full, full cream or whipped cream na heavy cream na milk-based, hindi yung 
non-dairy because non-dairy seems to be mostly made of carbs. So you can have that. But safest also would be tea. So nandito, jasmine, chamomile, mint, or lemon. So no, no now when it comes to soft drinks, okay? Pero if you are still transitioning, eto yung when you are still transitioning, dalawa yung pwede nyo gawin. You can go cold turkey. Ibig sabihin, right then and there, wala ka na lahat. You really go into the safe list. But you also have this option if you want to just slowly transition. Say, for example, if sobrang ikot addict ka or something addict ka, at least now, meron ng zero, zero option. So that's zero calorie. But it has to be taken with caution. It's because these sweeteners, these uh, drinks, no, na maraming uh, artificial sweeteners, may not actually directly jeopardize your blood sugar spikes and your your insulin level. Pero ito yung makakapag ruin ng inyong mental mindset. Because as soon as long as you keep on stimulating your taste buds with something sweet, you'll never be weaned. Hindi po kayo makakamove on. Yeah, just like everything in life, kung gusto nyo mag-move on, wala muna talaga sa lahat para makalimutan muna natin. Just like uh, sabi ko, for the longest time, hindi ako kumuminom ng something sweet or all that. That's why my taste buds became so sensitive to sweet na kahit tubig, I can feel that it's something sweet. And also, kahit yung lang kape na alam natin very bitter, I can appreciate na meron siyang tamis sa huli after you eat that. So, that's what you can do. And sadly for now, since wala pa ngayong available talaga ng mga sugar, free options, so wala lang muna. O, oh, meron pala, oh, no sugar added. So, this is what you should be careful. The no sugar added, okay? Kasi totoo naman, they didn't add any sugar. But what the sugar that they didn't add would be the white sugar. But it's still using the same flour. It is going to still use uh, syrups and other other uh, sweets like caramel, like kung ano ano pa, okay? So no no sugar added siya, but it doesn't mean that it's really real sugar free, okay? Kung meron man, kung meron man yan, try to ask the the ingredients that they use, okay? Only if they tell you they are using almond flour or almond flour or coconut flour, and then they're using sweeteners like stevia, monk fruit, and, uh, and you know, uh, allulose, all those, pwede yun. Pero generally, you should be very careful. So, yung importante lang naman, when we are eating out, is meron talaga tayong ma-order at meron tayong makain. So, mostly, those are the basics, no? Uh, meron dito nakasabing sugar-free fudgy, but we can never tell if how sugar-free this is. Kasi yung label, alam nyo ba, kahit yung label na zero sugar, ay hindi talaga ang totoong zero sugar. Meron lang pala yung certain amount that as long as it will not reach a certain grams per certain amount, pwede mo na siyang i-label as zero sugar. Kahit yung sa trans fat din, kapag hindi siya umaapaw ng, I think it was 0.4 grams ba yun per serving size, pwede mo na siyang i-label as trans fat free, even if it really has trans fat. So, that's a rule with FDA. So, wala tayong magagawa dyan for now, but that's the reason why you should be very careful. When you are eating out, if you cannot eat, uh, if you can, if you cannot avoid eating out, and of course, meron tayong mga times that you really have to go out and eat, at least you know these things. Sa mga pagkain naman, you can opt for those na mga pinaka simple, like this one. This is just cooked in butter and salt and pepper. Okay, so wala, wala nang kahit aja, you can, you can now be sure na at least walang vegetable oil yung ginamit or di kaya wala nang other condiments, walang soy sauce and all that. The simpler the food, the better it is for you, the better it is for us. So, um, ating question yesterday was, so when when do you find staying low carb really hard? So, marami doon up in, in our homes while eating out, while with friends, while at work, while in school, while in the hospital, while changing shifts. Meron pang isa doon na uh, while in the gym. So we will tackle that one by one. Sa ngayon, yun lang muna, how to stay low carb while eating outside. And also, what is good? Right now, I'm alone. So, But when I'm with other people, my family and my friends and my workmates, 
it's also good for to be to be public about your way of life because they will just respect that. Sa simula, you can feel that you might get bullied, you might get laughed about, but you just continue on. Huwag mo lang silang isipin masyado and eventually you can just see that the that the people will adjust and will know and will respect you. But you have to be consistent then, okay? Hindi mo ka lang isipin na maging killjoy ka. You are actually putting more premium on your health, okay? And the people that I know already know that, so I actually don't need to adjust but meron yang one time that they ordered a really for everyone individually ordered like yung specialty na dessert and isang store na yun. I just accepted it and then I just took a bite or isang kakaunti lang just so to check and after that I really don't like it. I really don't like it. So I just ate lang yan. So hindi nila ako matipilit na pakainin ako nun kasi hindi ako masaya. So those are the things that you can do and I am also not being judgy. I even allow them. Don't be shy. Order na kayo ng inyong high-carb food. I don't mind. I am pro-choice. And I'm so happy that we can just dine together with the people that we, we love, we care about, and we can respect their choices as much as they also respect yours. So, yun lang muna for now. I hope you learned something today on how we can stay low-carb while eating outside, even if we are in a high-carb restaurant, even if uh, we are in a high-carb cafe with all of these desserts. I'll see you again next time. Maybe uh, when I'm at home, we will talk more on how to stay low-carb while at home because the challenges mostly are for those people who are either just eating, yung kumakain yung sila, kung ano yung hinahanda ng kanilang family, or the mothers who are cooking the ones for their for their entire family na naka high carb. So marami techniques to jan. Those are all outlined actually in our first book because the very challenge when it comes to staying low carb much challenging when you are fasting. So if you can, if you can surpass it while fasting, then staying low carb will be just a very very easy thing. So mindset is the key before you prepare your low carb meals. You make sure that you empower yourself first with the right mindset, with the right knowledge on what is low carb, on what is high carb, and why do you need to stay low carb, and yung pinaka reason mo, why you want to stay healthy. Because even if you are somewhat looking like going against your loved one, pero sa totoo lang, you taking care of yourself is also taking care of those people that you care about. Because as you take care of yourself, you take care of your health and your capacity to improve more and help more. And also, be of service to the people that you care about will also be possible. Okay? So, marami pa tayong pag-uusapan in the coming days. I hope I'll see you again. And I hope I'll have another time to do another live video with, with you. And thank you all so much. 545 right now watching. Thank you so much for being here with me. I'll see you again in our next live video. Maraming salamat po. Have a pleasant evening.